you were now in the presence of faith.
Let's go, Agwan. Cool, Charlie. So, me and I'll give you very simple information. Um, so, maybe two things out of two things. Uh, things will really influence me, make a vote for um, a presidential candidate. candidate yeah. Today. Um, so I'll, I will group them under two classes, like one way they top already. If the person they top already, like a certain government, mm -hmm. what could make a vote for that person as my candidate? But if the person has changed the the feel of the economy, I, I use the term the feel of the economy because I'm I'm an average individual, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm not in the realms of governance. I I'm not in the high seats of uh, the economics, the banking, the, the, the GDP and them things. But if small, small things like um, um, like keeping my, my, my livelihood, like things like utility bills are within reach, if it's not outrageously priced, if they don't shoot the price up inconsiderably, those things all go make I consider such a person. If 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 inflation rates stay down, inflation, I think it's close to even the average person, if prices of general goods and services not shoot up all the time if four prices mm. you know the world food prices four prices go feed jump up but if my president or my sitting government go feed do something about it, maybe they go step in or something it go it go make a look at you know considering them when it's time for election like what will make i maintain them right mm -hmm. um second thing be infrastructure which i think you captured in your first mm -hmm. you know uh, uh you captured that as your first point yeah Infrastructure really the matter. Mm -hmm. I, I, I go job every day. I use roads, right? Mm -hmm. um, the basic infrastructure I see be roads. Mm -hmm. If I'm sick, I have to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. if, if 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 by chance I drive with my license, that way police catch me. If sell, mm -hmm. I go go sit. I go go counter back. Decent sell. Yes. You know, yes. no be some sell way when you go inside ten minutes now, then you start get some skin shit on your. You know, yeah. something yeah. they bite bite you and no 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 yes. no. Basic, basic things. Hospital, I go hospital. How, how, how fast they treat me? Mm -hmm. uh, if, if matter happen right now, um, ambulance day, you go feel sort things out. Yep. You know, those basic, basic things. When I finish these, I will talk on on why I made the decision on the party I maintained, and then and then why we're here. You know how I feel about why we're here. Mm -hmm. um, that be a, a second one. Th th third thing would be president. We get empathy, like somebody waiting. Reason with the people, right? You, see, you know, be somebody with a fake, fake show love, like yeah, yeah. Team for right, so problem happens. So the person writes, okay, uh, uh, issue happened. Let's see the bogus. So what, what, what will happen? Mm -hmm. um, the explosion will happen. He claimed thirteen lives. Okay, I the I go vote or I go maintain government. We go go beyond just doing what they're supposed to do. So the yawa happen. What government do we send that right? Then fee sustain. Uh, what be the name? The people then think provide them some food and things for a while. But then at the end of the day, if something like that happened for Abuja, where the same certain government they travel to, what and what then go do? Then go find compensation for the people. The government go do um yes no. Those basic basic things. Mm -hmm. Empathy be that for me. No matter happening, you wear black or green. You understand? Yeah. Um, another thing to be president we could constantly improve things because human beings we constantly they change. When our lives they improve. So president they travel go outside, okay, president go see say uh, Italy or or, or, or or Germany or London they they, they do maybe um, e learning. The e learning, how did they do um, did they use machines? So and so government come back, government say, you know what? We won't introduce some concepts where be basic, but it will, will really, really give a lot of you know, you uh, it will improve the face of let's say healthcare or education, you know. Governments will be innovative. And the innovation was really important for creating or something. You go if you go down from the ground to brain camp because that be how we grow. Mm -hmm. Those would be some of the things I would look at. I think the final thing, just to keep it short, be um 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 governments we know the politicize things after they gain power because the election time everybody go vote for a party work work but by the end of the day the national resources Everything will be for the country. If they, they drop budgets, if they, they give money, now they don't give it to NDC, they don't give it to CPP, they don't give it to a, a DPP or whatever. They, they give to every person. The person who vote for you, but you still they treat them nice. So I know they want government, so I know they maintain government we, because voter regime people no vote for MPP or because Ashanti regime people don't vote for NDC or they vote for MPP or something. Now they go to mirror them small, so development go to 
slow on that side. Mm -hmm. The way they go fish egg in the whole country, you go see them, they might all make our life. Yeah. You know, some of the regions they feel, see retrogressive, like, you know, growth. Yeah. After the government can power, these were the things I would look at in the party system. If the party no day power, what could make a consider the candidate as a president? All these things are mentioned in thoughts. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if a president tells me, because honestly, at that point, uh, put, put, I don't want to put a trap record in there. It matters sometimes, but then what if the person hasn't occupied any public position before? What if the person just getting private track record? Mm -hmm. All be mouth. At that point, you have a kind of limit here. You want to know. You'll be our be back. You will cast up. So what I could look at with these things in thought. So you get ideas where go fit in something to your plan. They say you come and you go unite the people or you just won't focus on one side. You go some side and you speak to them in a different way like, yeah, you they like these people past these people or what. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you they overly politicize everything. So you go debate the good talk. They ask you, see, how you improve healthcare. And you're telling me three years ago, uh, NDC couldn't do it right. So when I come... I'll do better than them. I'm saying, say what you can do specifically. Yeah. You know, be what the people do because we know that you are the experience and sense. You understand? Mm -hmm. So thoughts the matter. Somebody will get in own school of thoughts about how to manage the economy. All right. So somebody will they come with ideas where they say, no, this person say you want me to move towards, let's say, a, a, a more digitized economy. Mm -hmm. uh, be like in the past, nobody do some. Somebody do self. He try, but you know if he do up. But what is new about what this person they bring up? Uh, honestly, so all you talk, be what me I go listen to. So yeah, thoughts. So I'm more of the person that would want to give you a try than the person who would like to look for track record. What and what you do for as you did Bank of Ghana, what you do because those things are honestly once you get into a different level or that level of power, everything you learn before go go back. You go go against all the things you you stood for. Yeah. You understand? So, even the plan and the thoughts, okay? True. Uh, in the past, and let me just put this in. In the past, me, I maintain the government within power because the thoughts and then the few things I had seen going on were right. Uh, before, before, then come power, then I think I, I finished university fresh. I was a part of the people where we're not happy with a lot of the things that changed. You know how um, 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 Professor Atmos wanted to do free education. Mm -hmm. When Muhammad came, he wasn't really into that. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of things really changed. What I say, mm -hmm. and he has started certain things under the various points that I put. But then I know they see the news like how he talk and what they make us. That's why me, a person who voted him out. But it, as we speak now, I won't really want to land on who I'm going to vote for. But if you break down the things we are mentioned, where you see the facts on the on the ground about what this certain party do. Nobody will tell you, say, I don't want this party to stay again. Right. You understand? So these be the things me asking at the blue card. If you did power already, this be what could make her maintain you or make her kick you out. If you know the power already, these be the things too I could look at to vote for you. And not about the family thing, the whole okay, because I'm from central region. So no Yeah, the tribalism thing. Maybe Yawa. You see they guess where did they vote based on the tribe or the president or even the religion, bro. That's sad. And and one thing to I mean just to chip that one to in I believe if me I vote for some parts make it come power me I get the power criticize them past any party because if me select them me believe them yeah you understand anybody else can talk you can say whatever you want to say and and then if we did here so if somebody like me come way now and they talk about things we know they go right and somebody they feelings inside as you your problem because me I know say. But this day here, they did a power inside, they follow my nonsense. So, me make they make I don't fear them. So, don't think they use them, I will fear you. Change must happen. We they move, whether political party or no political party, whether good or bad. Once the person goes to bring something into the table, we move. If you don't do them right, we kick you out, we go. That's all. Sure. Big of yourself, man, like Eskin. Thank you very much for your submission. It really didn't make sense. Um, I think with the. With a part where they talk say if they increase fuel prices for the world where a leader is able to still hold it down for us them them, them things you do I, I don't really stand for a cop 
You see, when they, when you still try maintain the price for you, it goes squeeze. So can you can you let me can you let me break that part down a bit? Yeah, yeah, cool. So um, four prices might be high around the world, right? Mm -hmm. But um, when you put uh, when you take into consideration um, uh, transport unions like GPRTU and the rest, mm -hmm. um, there's a way the government goofy subsidize certain things, and so. The, the government has a big stake in, in, in petroleum here in Ghana. Gold, for that matter, is owned by the government, okay? It'd be, it be government's the matter. Mm -hmm. And so if we get to points where fuel prices are staggering, people who buy the fuel and bring it in pay the taxes, okay? There are certain taxes that are on the fuel that they bring in, regardless of prices, whether it should up or it goes down. So I believe as a, as a government, mm -hmm. when we get to very hard times, you should be able to step in and say, you know what, I've met with the GPRTU. to you. Uh, instead of um, letting the full prices that really affect them, and then they will go and increase their their total rates and taxi rates, I'd rather, okay, so for commercial cars, I'd, I'd rather have a, a, a reduction on, or, or, or sorry, sort of an exemption on, 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 on full taxes, okay, mm -hmm. for the companies where they buy the food itself, so that um, if, if the rule will be okay, if you're selling for commercial cars, maybe you sell at this rate, or generally, you can even do with the whole country that throughout the month of, let's say, August and October, if the four prices around the world are soaring, there's something I can do as a government to make sure it doesn't die. So they are paying high uh, uh, rates for the fuel from wherever it's coming from, but then the taxes you put on here will go down a bit. So, like, you, you should always have, like, a, a way around things for the people. Like, leave space small for the people. You understand? Mm. So, because if it directly, like, people, they feel the thing, the floor prices go up. You, your taxes still did the same level. You take the same levies. You still did charge the same taxes you did charge on all the floor when the price did rise. Directly, it will affect the people with the petrol trial and things. But there are certain things, I feel, since you have people who are at work on these things, they should be able to calculate it. Leave some small leeway on, on, on taxes, especially, and I use the word taxes because that be where a lot of the, the pain they most of the time. So it's not like you're going to fake it to Ghana and make Ghana know that floor prices be cool. No, they all know, everybody knows it's up. But this is what the government is doing, maybe for the next month or two. When we were in the COVID times, they were able to reduce tires and all that, right? How do you do with taxes? We the same thing they do. Mm. You, you get it. Mm -hmm. But that's key. With, with free education, mm -hmm. you think say it help the economy? Um, it, 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 it's it's it was supposed to, but the truth be say, and I I think I read this somewhere um, last two years. I'll find the document and share with you. But you see, a country where Kofi afford education should be able to afford education when. You look at the entire country we we our income our income distribution will be balanced like other countries in my own day you know there are regions that are um, 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 are not on the on the economy level like other regions they so Accra here yeah, businesses are more saturated around here yeah. if you move far north to let's say uh, 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 um, Boku, that area their business is not really the on that level for here so uh, all other things mean because somebody for there no goofy afford something somebody for here goofy afford i think it's a good idea but it wasn't properly distributed it wasn't supposed to be like a national thing and 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 i start to be correct about i think in 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 the in the, in the olden days not too old uh, in the days i think pndc time around that time there were there were free the, the free education thing existed that's what i'm told that a lot of our certain mps even enjoyed it up in the north and all that i think it was supposed to be properly studied Professor Atenos believed Ghana was supposed to Ghana was going to get income on the side to fuel the free education. But as it moved up, uh, I mean, we always try things and then we amend it. I thought it should have been like redesigned and then placed on certain places. So school like let's say, because scholarships already did, then get a get fund and all that. Mm -hmm. Let's say a school like Premier College should be able to have um, 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 the normal get fund for brilliant but leader students. So like people who are able to meet the uh, academic bracket you're supposed to get in before you get admission. But can we afford education? We'll definitely sponsor through the education with a get back. But if you 
move far, let's say, in King Kenso somewhere, some town way, some Seattle, let me use my hometown. In Yenabasa, um, I'm, I'm secondary technical. There's a school there. You know, a lot of people won't travel from Accra to come to the school. It's mostly uh, people from the township and the environs who will come. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are income bracket, no day like people for here. So when you say, like, okay, tier one schools or tier two schools who enjoy free education, I mean, it's going to be balanced because somebody who works at a bank and earns a lot will be able to afford education for their child. Okay, you don't really need to give them free, they can afford it. And so it was supposed to be properly distributed. It wasn't supposed to be like a, a national thing where it did as a free, a free, what's it, American, as a, mm -hmm. it can really help. The ones who can afford it can afford it. But when you do a proper research, you realize, okay, this side don't really defeat fun because it happens. A lot of them move from, when I was in school, people who moved from the north and came down, like 20% of them were like very, very brilliant. They, they could afford the marks, they could afford the, the grades, but they, they couldn't fund the education. Mm -hmm. You stay within the lines of all that. Get fun, all these things are there for that. And then you introduce the right. You don't just spread it across and then now it becomes something we can't really fund. For they real. added a feeding program to the junior high and the, mm -hmm. the, the, the lower side as well. That, that one too is like, it's, it's sick. I said, I was started growth. I said, I didn't know you because we didn't really, I said, we did go fights where we don't really train well. We now you see you. You, go out. you see. So now we fought. We fought, we fought tight titans, we fought like plaster, they deal with our body and say, Some way. I feel a lot of things were not properly studied. And I, I, I will blame, I will blame, I will blame the people behind it, the government once again, because listen, we have properly educated educationists, we have economists, we have agricultural, uh, sorry, agriculturalists, uh, people who are well versed in the various sectors. So why don't we fall on these people too? Or when the people get into power, they, they become so proud that now they can't listen to the people who are really, really trained in that. Uh, in the lines of all that, I think we should we should be looking through all that. Also, that also comes. And you'll see one thing, uh, Mango, if you just look at and you just see, you know, what this party has to go. So, all right. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. I believe, yes. I believe no matter how hard the situation gets, somebody will find a way around it. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. All right. Mr. Granty, I'm with your body. Mr. Granty, how are you, sir? I'm good, sir. Mr. Granty, a very religious guy. You have morals. What actually goofy influence your vote <laughs> to select a presidential candidate? You know, I mean, you be see, you be senior religious guy, Charlie. You know, so I, I just thought that to say, you know, we'll try to do the humanizing matter. You know, <laughs> don't go use the humanizing matter as factor. I beg you. Make a touch on the education, education, quick, quick before I move to my point. So cool. The, the sense that skin talk, oh, it didn't make a lot of sense, right? Mm -hmm. From our constitution, right? Mm -hmm. The state claim from Article 25, mm -hmm. Clause 1 a that education is that if a basic education will be free, I can make a reader. Mm -hmm. He said, All persons shall have the rights to equal educational opportunities and facilities mm -hmm. and with a view to achieving the full realization of that right. A basic education shall be free, compulsory, and available to all. Mm -hmm. Secondary education in its different forms including technical and vocational education shall be made generally available and accessible to all by every appropriate means and in particular by the progressive introduction of free education so my problem with the current government be um, because it was their flagship policy during their campaign mm -hmm. because at the time one of the things will make MP become power of free education yep yep was this they sold that particular policy so well to the Ghanaian public. Mm -hmm. And another thing to be the way them brand the whole incompetent and corrupt Mahama. Yep. They also did well with that whole, you know, communication. So Mahama was seen as the devil. devil. Mm -hmm. Everything with Mahama would do be a and go talk mm -hmm. and So when they came into power, one of the first things that they have to do in order to gain the trust of the people, I, I, I can't say you talk trust as you list your sense. Yeah. For them to gain the trust of the people, 
one of the first things they had to do was to implement free education. Yeah. Because at the point, if like, they don't do one in the next two years, like the party was done, there is nothing they could have done. So True. I believe from that political point of view where they felt they cannot let the people off, they cannot let the people down. So they have to implement it by all means. Mm-hmm. They didn't really take time to look into one or two things and how even the constitution states that it must be progressively introduced. That means that you cannot just come and establish it and keep it running because as this thing starts, BBC self interviewed the president with the axam about the amount of money that shall be involved in the free SHS. He was family. That that will tell you that at the time of the campaign, proper analysis and proper um, proper things were not really done mm-hmm. in relation to the amount that will be spent and how it shall be rolled out. Mm-hmm. But obviously it was really working for them on the campaign grounds yep. because most of the people be illiterate. So if you are coming and these illiterates also, I mean, to some extent, they are the poor people. To some yeah. extent, because obviously, if you are an average Ghanaian, way, if you pay your school fees and things, you'll be educated. But mostly in the deprived areas, illiteracy rates be high because of poverty as well. Yeah. So people with the illiterate provide for themselves or pay school fees. If you are being told that, oh, me say me bar me see at an amazing free, I will do this. I will do that. It's, it's a something that will obviously lure you into believing that, oh, and the party will not me here. Already now, Casano, the party that is, was on power, which is NDC, has been branded as very, very corrupt. So if indeed you are being branded as corrupt, in fact, you are being branded as incompetent. In fact, you are also branded as somebody that became a president by default, that through the death of another man, you became a president. So you actually had no intentions or no... I mean, properly down policies even before gaining power. Mm-hmm. So all these things were tagged on Mahama. So the MPP had a field day in 2016 mm-hmm. to actually push this free education matter, you know. But fast forward, it is a constitutional right for every citizen to enjoy it, but that the government in power must progressively introduce. So one of the disadvantages is that they were forced to do it because it was a political message and they had to do it to gain the trust of Ghanaians, which yep. is also part of the reasons or part of the things that the people look at to select a particular party. Trust. Yep. trust, yep. So they didn't want to break that particular trust. Mm-hmm. But it was a good policy. But I don't think the country was also... And one of the things that they try to talk about now, be, I mean, um, how they were not able to fund it. And we, they always go back to Russia, Ukraine war, then COVID, right? So they have made it in such a way that a lot of the revenues or the money that was supposed to be allocated for free education to be more visible were channeled into other things. So they, um, they lack some sense for some side. So they are going to review it. Mm-hmm. And that's clear. If you talk review, it sounds very ambiguous because review would even say you could scrap them off by the baby. They look, they look like you could take some things out or yeah. you make them less... Um, you will reduce all the things or probably let them pay some one or two things, but mm-hmm. it will equally be free as well. So, you know, I feel like on the education part, um, MPP or the current government were forced to do one or two things. But, uh, so away from that, um, what actually the influence Ghanaians, not me per se, what actually the influence Ghanaians for now? Let me just generalize it before I come to my personal thing. So I labeled it major and minor. The major ones, I said exchange rates, prices of goods and services, job creation, infrastructure, and security. That would be the major one. So mm-hmm. exchange rates. Um, I think when this country in Baumia said that if your um, fundamentals are weak, the exchange, rate, exposes you. exchange rate will expose you. Mm-hmm. Right? So the exchange rate, obviously, um, one dollar is equal to what, what CDs. Yep. And we are using dollar because that, that is the global currency. Right? Yep. So that, that rate, obviously, we are now with this thing. Everybody here, here, dollar, they cost through. It has become a communication probably 10 years from now 10 years ago that wasn't really the case but now because of social media and everything you see it everywhere yep. you can even just google how much is one dollar in ghana city and you get the amount right? yep. so the rate at which it moved the rate at which it had, it had jumped from mama's time which was around 4.36 to now about 11.7 almost 12. crazy funny. crazy so, so that one of the things people look at so somebody Maybe let's say, assuming Baumia becomes flag well then, somebody comparing Mahama and Baumia will look at the exchange rate. That's okay. How was Mahama able to maintain or, as in the left power, then the extreme exchange rate be how much? Okay, as Nana Day power, where Baumia also they play a role in this same government. Mm-hmm. So it's an extension of Nanado's government. How much or how was the inflation rate? Or how, how, sorry, how was the exchange rate 
that we are talking about, okay, it moves from four to here, from five to here, and it is now 11 points. So we are looking at who was able to maintain it well and who was able to keep it in a, a reasonable rate, even though the four was high as well, but it was a bit reasonable comparing it to the 11. Then we look at the factors that caused the rise or the fall. So one of the things we people they look at now with the exchange rate. Now prices of goods and services, it be some it be daily, it be daily thing. Every day somebody they buy something, every day money they exchange hands. So as if you buy something at a price of one city, then you go the next day and it's two cities. You go raise question like ah, I did have a ton one city and run and then there were two cities and you know how Ghana did. Then it starts picking up. Then as it be two cities. So somebody to it did far, so he had transportation. So maybe you said they buy on two cities, but somebody to buy on two two cities, fifty pesos. So the change of price and the change of price and the value of goods also they affect people they are thinking and who they should vote for and whether the economy is hard or it is normal. So see job creation and I feel say the job creation I will factor them into the infrastructure. So once there is infrastructure, it will create a lot of jobs. And obviously, the government is for maybe within their manifestos, they must make us believe that they they are able or they are capable of creating jobs, whichever way is going to be done. And the infrastructure, I also circle social amenities. So under the social amenities, to hear infrastructure, then um, recreational facilities. So maybe you go build stadia, you go build roads, you go build hospitals, you go build um, schools. All those things they come under the infrastructure and. And to some extension, they create jobs mm-hmm. right, and security. So the president is the head of state and also the commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. Mm-hmm. So it gives you a certain responsibility of security. So there are certain orders that it is only the president that can take, even though we have a chief, um, a chief defense, um, a CDS. Sorry, we have a CDS, or we have a, an interior minister, or we have a defense minister, or we even have a national security, or we even have a commander of the army. But the commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces in this country is the president. So, yeah. um, so we look at how the party, if the party they in power, how the security issues they, you know. So right now, currently, Dan Parade they in Parliament on some commission of inquiry about some leaked tape, and some of the issues are being um, hoarded because it it has implication on national security. And I fully agree with them that it will be everything we did leak tape. Inside we for come, but the moment the security of a nation is being threatened, the president to fill up, and you are the one that we are looking at because even the IGP is appointed by the president, right? Mm-hmm. So the whole security, you for make we, you for make we feel okay. Say we go to wake up tomorrow, and the country will still be intact in terms of security. So the minor ones were eloquent. So communication skills, one of the things we help Ronaldo work. See, Ronaldo be good. Very eloquent, yeah. He he if he communicate well, then some comedy day on the street say, if Leonardo do press conference, the journalist not understand, so they don't feel like some many questions. Because yeah. they slay them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So Leonardo, Leonardo in communication skills was top notch. And one of the things we make, even though we know they hear everything, or sometimes the, the accents be killer, but yeah. still we they like, because we, he's going to represent the country. Everybody could like making presidents look like this. You know, so the average Ghana man, they like accent too. You know, the inferiority complex, they kill we on all that side, you know? Exactly. exactly. So the communication skills, yeah. Communication skills, we look at that. Then track record. Track record be where be the matter. Because if somebody know the power before or hold some kind of higher office before, you don't go fit tell in track record like that. So it's more of a try and error from the start. And the trial and error will stem out of what you will tell us and how we could fit trust the things you did talk. Mm-hmm. That is when you don't have a track record. But if you have a track record, for example, somebody like Azumi and Mahama and, and Baumia did the context right now, we did understand. The two of them, we could feel argue based on track record because they've all been vice presidents and they all hold some higher offices before. So track record plays a major role. So, if we did check Baumia's track record as an extension of the Kufuado's government, and we also check Mohammed's track record in terms of when he was president and also when he was vice president, we go through look at all those things to also determine who we go go in for. And make our go back some more. The free education then. They talk say he did the GNDM, um, uh, uh, he did GM, um, what's that 
parties in the first part, one of the first parties, the one time he didn't do the free education. In fact, Mahama himself enjoyed free education in Tamale Secondary School. After leaving Achimota School, he go the Empire be Minister at the time. So he enjoyed he enjoyed free education. So at the time when the communication they come up, the policy they come up with <coughs> he wasn't football, one of the things we didn't take attack and we see he himself so if you enjoy your education, so why right now they won't do our mission right away to the right fight it. So yeah, that was just by the way. So physical appearance to the count for this country, if I appear good, in as much as people know they talk about and one of the things we are shocked was I don't to be short we can be president. Because go for in time, then some friends start gentle giant. Oh yeah, and I so yeah. you know, see. Yeah. So you come up. So at the time, it looked like physical appearance was also part, and I can tell you. And Kufo came after Rollins. Yeah, Kufo came after Rollins as well. And yeah. If you look, if you watch Rollins in physique, into TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, it for some kind of. It was so yeah, yeah. Kufo you know, get some kind of physique to stand in there, and I, I can tell you, people just like Mahama because of his physique. Mm -hmm. The way he would battle man, you say the way he would walk yeah. out of the car. All that people they like pass. Yeah. The current president so physical appearance also since we we didn't look at it in fact especially the youth we didn't look at it, you know say oh, this president to look good in the eyes of the public so mm -hmm. if he's representing the whole nation we like it then again public relations so how do you relate to the people people so at the kai see as another one your president the good day the ashama inside good day the markets inside the truth but the blinking key the chop kinky the so kali points you look like it be so we did do down, down to F, F yeah it's, it's for the question of power you know but public relations for always play a role if you really want to make the people gain your trust make make you feel like you did part of them so comments like yet is it so yeah bro or all those things you are trying to share in the pain of the people yeah so it's, it's all in the way relating to the public with their wounds with what they are going through making it look like you are also suffering but to some extent <laughs> at the time that he was contesting for president he was one of the richest people in ghana but he for he for bring something we they could resonate with the normal or average Ghanaian, which it makes sense to him the one of the things we are right you see sadly unfortunately the religious and ethnic background mm -hmm. it shouldn't be so in this country it's a soup yes even within the mpp people don't like baumia because Sorry to say, he's a Muslim, yep. which is unfair. Yeah, you know, people don't like him, and he himself too. Sometimes he for know how to talk, cause uh, in one of his campaigns, if he talks, I mean, the bar zone before never try to create an impression that if somebody else come, the zongo people will vote. So you put the zongo people in some lights, like because you are their people. Yeah, their person, if you come, they will vote for you. So he says the talking, he talk sometimes it be some way, but that's on the other side because. I know we here we will really come talk about Baumia in sense because mm -hmm. me and BMPP are solid, but most of the things we really go on is on way. If we are trying to be very objective, trust me, we will have a lot to say. But because on the normal day, when it comes to the public space, you have to still maintain your political role, mm -hmm. your political talk. If we're talking in a certain way, that will not mean anything against your party because maybe somebody said, if you go here, then go use them against you, make something go for you, you know, so yeah. the ordinary Ghanaian thinking about the stomach will never be objective when it comes to political matters, but the truth is the truth, religious and ethnic matters, yeah. not only the president, even in major positions, even in offices and all that, sometimes, oh, but you know, you know, and some, some ethnic groups do it like that, no, but it's not it's not a, a conversation to be added to this, but some ethnic groups for this country then they like that. Right. Like, yeah, we MBDS so that you know it happens. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course the Ashantis like to do that. Ashantis, if then they like to do that thing. Right? Now ten idea, yeah. ten idea, ten idea, ten idea, no. ten to me, yeah. Yeah, 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 ma ma pin you, ten me. Yeah. Some way. And crane the over there and crane you know them one, some way, you know. Ashanti is a very, very tribalistic, you know? Sadly, those things to be sell. Sadly, it is sell because if somebody did they may be floating, floating vote, that means you don't really make instant it. But this particular statement could be changed in my seat. I didn't have power, I didn't know what I got to my ceremony. What I said, ceremony, you know, them, some challenge, some way. Those things to play, play a role in. In fact, it's, it's Ghana politics we are talking about because I don't think 
other other countries they look at all these things but in this country religious and ethnic backgrounds they play a major role so lastly i wrote family orientation so family orientation being how in fact you forget some wife and sense like if you be flag bearer you forget woman with your body as a first lady because mm-hmm. it's part of the whole you know it'd be part of the office like you, you can't be a president alone it's impossible yeah like one of the things we even the party they look at before making a flag bearer say you have a wife Mm-hmm. You know, so even if you have three wives, if I present one as your woman, we you don't have the so the first lady family orientation, how you do relate with the family if your family matter day out or some court issue about some family matter mm-hmm. or all those things to the matter. So one of the things with Muhammad they work on why they try what they how in kiddies deal with them with I mean on almost top top platforms in Kiddi when I go say the boy they move with them and it, 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 good in the eyes of Ghanaians. It, 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 they look good in daughter today. Mm-hmm. Then in daughter go fi post picture on the social media. Father, my father, so so and so maybe some nine something. They just go post in father. It didn't look good because it looks like somebody will if you put the family together no matter the woman matter where you will come whatever. Yeah. The family still do. Mm-hmm. Seeing wife with arm um, in public. Even after whatever matter come up with whoever, whichever woman, the family still they in that any the show and of man the person in terms of leadership qualities that no matter the trouble or no matter what's family if you still keep the family together together yeah good thing to people look at but it could be mine or do but it is it's part of the things people really look at so summarizing everything i said the major things were exchange rates prices and goods of services job creation infrastructure mm-hmm. into brackets social amenities or infrastructure amenities then and infrastructure then sorry security then the minor ones be eloquence, like communication skills. Right, and this this be all what you think say people they look at. What what you, Mr. Cranty, you look at? Exactly. So for me, I feel say initially they had to look at what the person would talk or your flagship program, right? So let's say maybe I'll be twenty two, so my eyes really open to politics. Let's say um, election 2012 that mm-hmm. was when maybe man feel up proper then think of one or two in terms of choosing where to go mm-hmm. so in as much as we were born into families that had one or two political backgrounds or some of week maybe you were born into a mpp party so mpp solid whatever go happen mpp somebody to ndc so whatever go happen NDC. but aside that safe being objective if you reach some age where you see say okay this person they talk sense passes, or this one they sell passes, will they resonate more to that one? So personally, my mind really open to these things, let's say 2012. So actively from 2012, one of the major things we really did sell at that time was free education, I lied to you. So, and at the time too, there were a lot of corruption cases stuck on the NDC. For example, Coco Board, there is this man called Opuni. We hear your name, sir, uh, 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 making it look like Charlie Demand here, the Ghana money all day in there, you know, up till now. Still did because he hasn't been prosecuted, nothing you know, and it will show you how slow the justice system should be. I, I will touch on that before I also the, the mic. So, personally, dear, uh, one of the things we your manifesto what's be the flagship thing where they can talk, mm-hmm. and again, um, how you were able to maintain the exchange rate or how you were able to sustain it, how you're able to make kids move on a certain. I mean, medium, so maybe we, we are winner, we don't see okay because of this and this, that is why the exchange rate is affected. But ordinarily, it is one of the things that we will look at, or I personally will look at, um, in terms of choosing where to go. Lastly, I will look at the, the person. You see, sometimes in your your spirit will be telling you how the person they talk, if they lie or not. Sometimes, some of the things these people they tell you, you know, they make sense at all. They are just saying it because they have the platform to talk and they have to do everything possible to convince whoever is listening. But sometimes you, you go you see the drama in there, you go you see the, you know, over talking in there, you can see the over hyping in there. So if you're able to detect all these things, you can tell, you, you, we can easily tell who is lying. One of the things we already like about Mama, we say, um, he doesn't really focus on what he wants to do. He always they try to count towards the open. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was a, uh, communication. Um, in communication, you know, they move along that line. But they know they so. You know, say they know they so. This trip where they do on some counter attack vice, be Charlie. 
some way. But early mama wasn't like that, you know. It, it started from the fair education. The fair education one of their nightmares. So every time they for can't tell Ghanaians how the fair education no go help and it's not time and all that. Leaving whatever they had to do, like as and bring as MPP bring free education, they need to do go pay something. Maybe free delivery, free health care, something, something. Yeah. You know, so that we compare the two and select which one we want at the, as a country at a particular time. But it was all of a counter, counter, defense, defense. So they didn't really sell any property in Ghana. So, you know, what you could tell we, it matter. Yeah. So personally, they are showing you what you could tell we, then we could wait it to. Currently, everybody with the race inside, obviously, it's looking like it's between them. The two of them have some track record. So we could compare what you told me before, what you could do, what you couldn't do how you over exaggerated certain things and the things you have come out to apologize and accept that you said it in a wrong way because mm -hmm. the exchange rate matter like this but we have you know we should defend them as you can power exchange rate dollar was 4.3 it's now 11.7 crazy what did you have to tell us over 100 percent increment it doesn't mean you are not intelligent but the fact that you were able to make it look like for example any country that goes to a imf is a failure then your tenor you go to the IMF. What does it make you? A failure who wants to become a president again. Yeah. Then you see, you will now spend time to defend why we even went and why you shouldn't have said that. Mm -hmm. Before you would do that defense or finish, then Muhammad again comes. So For Muhammad real. is having a still good day now because the MPP party has disappointed Ghanaians to some extent. Big time. That's what I'm, that's what I'm telling you. Muhammad has grounds now because the things we Muhammad do, I'm not saying that he was a bad president. He worked, he did well in terms of infrastructure. In fact, he has done well, you know. But the way he was painted and the way Nanado can talk, the things he could do, and how he could even arrest people, the corrupt people, and get our money back for us. All those things helped the party to come to power. Then now you are in power, and we are finding $1 million in cash. One of your appointees in the house. Crazy. One of them. Crazy. You know. It is, it, it is something very hard to defend. You could go feed toxic if you did, like, if, you are, if you have been appointed and you are coming into this government to make money, forget about it. But these people are making money. Cash out. Serious money. The people they cash out crazy. And you see, it, it goes against some of the things he said. So, I will say deep, deep down, if people would be very honest, people are disappointed in him. Because that is not how we thought he was going to do That's the right So, this be a guy who. Uh, we see him like Kumi Preko. He tell him another day, you know the joke, you know the, you know, mm -hmm. the play with the law. If mm -hmm. you know, he will kill you. Then you claim people are being corrupt, and now you are sitting in the realms of you are sitting in their face, like you did the things and you with the top head. You will feel oh, that he needs to make you happen. Then you know they do anything. You will catch one person say for corruption. Me personally, there I know say I know say he go come finesse with bad because. This is somebody where you take plenty else, you know, we finally come in power. You could like getting money all back. You understand? That's why niggas like Alan Cash and since I don't even watch themselves because them niggas too, they spoil a lot of money in campaigns and since. You understand? So if they get opportunity, bro, they go take their money all time straight. You understand? So yeah, if MPP, MP people, if you put they will try to look for somebody, maybe Ken, you know? Kennedy level, but Kennedy to me, to me, it be somebody where he only tell the truth when it favors him. Anytime where somebody go vex him for the MPP parties, I then go threaten them with some muya mekau, muya mekau. We a solid guy, I can't. I then uh, so be pissed off and son or beka so beka. You know them ones. So you know, say people they do wrong things for the party or for the government inside, but you never they tell we. So the person will piss you off. As soon as the person will piss you off, then now you won't do we are make a uh, showdown. And at this, then they threaten people with some things. But if you say you be solid leader, you for they expose them. Unprovoked. Hey, whoa. So that's kind of far the cool fear. You know, yeah, regular. So we know so we could we'll trust you. Because me, I don't trust that man. I not say they only tell me the truth when it favors him. I don't go if you trust somebody like that. You understand? If they don't piss you off, that means you don't go tell you the truth. You don't go expose people, yeah, like corrupt people, some way. So yeah, my mama way, you know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing campaign, but yeah, my mama way still, you know. Yeah, man, Mr. Crantin. 
I mean, you, you have the right to say, Mahama, uh, but you see, they say they talk <laughs> against, nah, nah, we go fit, talk the same thing against Mahama, you know, because Mahama, we see him some way before he can do some things. We, because in time, people were making statements like um, they will make $1 million before they leave politics. But at least that be one of the actions with Mahama take, we are believe and say, okay, solid. Because as the woman talk, that thing, they think about, you know, back with the NGM from post. Quickly. But, Moving forward, I'm not being government and slow to action. Even though we get special for great office, special prosecutor, making it look like if they can't do something to the first appointment, Martin, I will do quick. Somebody will know the play with them kind of things. So as you come the power we will know the see any action. Yeah, the Martin Amidu said they fold four down rough rough. Smaller they the four down. When they talk this, then they come then they come back, then they reverse the thing, then they do this. Oh, some way, Charlie. Some way. Nothing really be fair. Be another office, of that be another office created, another payment they go on for there. So it's more like, okay, then if the office don't really they do anything, why did they claim all this amount of monies? Right now, currently, the, the current special prosecutor, you know, they Ghana, they did New York. They did New York, they work from there. So all the releasing things we will see, for, um, communicating things, he, he's not doing it in person. He did New York right now. And rumor they say, say he did with Ghana policemen where they got up for them, working in some office or working from wherever. He did, and all these things, the government with the, the sponsor or they pay for in bills. Ah, hold on. The current, the, the current prosecutor, you know, they stay Ghana. No, he did stay Ghana. He's obviously a Ghanaian. He's a job in the Ghanaian. But currently, as this is the other part that they go on right now. You know they gonna right, right, cool. Right. 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 In work it be a little bit irrelevant, you know. So but the when it was created at the time when we were made to believe that there's a lot of corruption going on. So nobody really said anything. So if an office has been created to come and clamp down corrupt people. So you know last year November or some uh, somewhere there about when an asking did you come up comment about some minister of finance at the presidency, some you know, some matter like that, some money money matter like that. The matter was referring to the special prosecutor up for now. We will find it as a need. Come on, I'm one day, day. I'm one matter like this. It's still the hand. They recently have come to the case. The case has been there. It has caused a lot of harm to the people of Ghana. So, the way you presented yourself as somebody that would be quick to investigate and look down into corruption related matters. With the president is telling us that the next person to come after him will do better. <laughs> you see, that that is him telling us that. <laughs> so no, he hasn't done better. You know, so I don't I don't go lie. The disappointment did it because the way we see him, I don't know what we see now. You know, and I go fit talk to maybe all these today more. Maybe all these today more. Maybe as as a country moving forward, we should look at all those things, before consider all those things, because. Will not be effective like that. If you look at the country like Cameroon, the, the, the president currently he did talk for over 40 years, 90 plus. So people they take them as the next country to probably see a coup d'etat. No, no, not same problem they go on for there, even though he has a prime minister who is a bit younger than way younger than him. But the, the president be 90 years, 90 years plus. Some videos they be on the internet we he for go meet some people in the forum, he for talk to them, he forget say he for meet them and talk to them. So we get to sit down, you know. So I, I believe as a country, we have to look at all these things in terms of age and how active the person be. Mm. You know, yeah, my mama is very, very active with the bike and things, you know. Very, very cool guy, you know. You know, get it's not be common. Which which leader, you know, we biker, bro. I'm on those who you ask you, you know. So yeah, if active there, yeah, you know, mama, no one choice. <laughs> No, 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 but I just, I just put the mama, I just show you the card with there on the table, you know, make you know if that be what you say there. If you say act, active there, and the mama, hard guy, you know, Willie can he be, oh, nah. yeah, the bike too, you know, be some your bike, oh, nah. 
Yeah, Ducati. Aluminum. Yeah, you know, yeah, Ducati. The Ducati or Ducati, whatever. Yeah, that level. Okay. Yeah. Let, me, let me ask you. If you look at Mahama, then Kabla before, who who you think say like it could be a better candidate for the NDC? Oh, Mama. Mama, bro. Uh, Bro, my main reason, like I said, be infrastructure, bro. What I say, infrastructure need a solid. That be what they bought. And then me and the commute, that be what they sell for me, bro. If you go do some beautiful airports, some beautiful hospital, some nice roads, hey, make Ghana look like a boat I'm cool. I'm cool to like hike everything. I don't care. So Mahama get a chance to be in power before or be close to power. So they get infrastructure and things to credit. You know, so if you come that kind of comparison, maybe you do fall before short in terms of track record. But if you look at the two personalities, maybe um, the market capabilities or what them Bro, bro, yeah. honestly I don't even know who the four is, you know. You 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 you, you follow Uncle because the 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 stability that man Give uh, the Ghana city in the past. <laughs> I mean, you know, say funny enough, you bring Bao Bao Mia to Pakistan. Yeah, yeah, you know. So we are talking about before. That's why I intentionally asked you that. You see, I so this is the four guy. He they try be flag bearer. Yeah, no, they they try be way step down. They try be uni uni bank owner. GH one owner. Even you are be me on. Yeah, yeah, I believe. No, 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 no. When you come in, quasi four people, quasi four begins scattered. So, quasi four did that side way. If you be young, I see, I see the money you talk about. No, 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 no. In when you come, pray to quasi four will get money, bro. Some banku, some banku wearers, some Patek banku. No, 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 no. I'm just scared. I'm the better banku, bro. Banku, banku where they will take by, bro. Forget. Forget, forget, forget. Forget to do four, bro. No, say no dear, no dear. Hey, Charlie! Don't tell me what I care. Hey, this is your counter. This is your counter. Bro. But I see, the Jalabia girls, they don't be, they don't, they don't appoint them. They just be, you know, a pum pum appointment. Uh, you know, it's just pum pum appointment. Pum pum appointment has got nothing to do with it. You know the presidency, uh, just in uh, a personal lifestyle, sexual satisfaction, it's different. What I say? Yes, well, you know, you know, you know, I don't see the thing you talk with the air foul because you know, you talk see which kind of conversations if they, they, they have. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one is how they they bore me. Me, Mundi, that thing, it really vexed me. Say, your man, if that if that's this, you know, but it's alleged though, we don't know how true that is. But you know, your man, they like, you know, for entertain those Zalabia girls around them. You know, your mom won't be like, not for entertaining the Jalabia girls. Exactly. Hey. But, bro, if I tell you, say, see, Pum Pum, eh, Pum Pum is very powerful, bro. Bro, you see, not a big man where they defeat Fox on Yawa House girls and things. Bro, vagina, eh, vagina, vagina. It be some way, you know. I don't go lie to you, bro. Yeah, they tell you, see, we have this convo before about, I think it was about to do feel or something. I tell you, see. Women always get some power. Yeah, bro, that thing God give them, man. That thing where God give them, it's very, very powerful, bro. Right, from Christian, Eve can't change God's plan because I don't think say them God is this behind one more day. Charlie, I said right now we did divert the conversation. Let's go back to it. You know. Oh no 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 no, Mama is a guy, bro. Mama is a guy, bro. Before the if you take the book, hey, you go bring the four like we die. Forget to do four. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. So I GH14, no Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. No, no time. Right. Yeah, but you see, it comes track record about economy. Eh? Do four in name is standard. Big up yourself, Mr. Cranston. Big up yourself, bro. <laughs> okay, alright, sure. Yeah, I go, Jaco, coming at the place. Sure. For yeah. <laughs> My uncle Patek for. Debbie, yo. I go, Jaco, what one? What the action? Yeah, man. Oh, okay, tell me. Even like me, I just get something short. I just talk about it. So, okay. go on. We really, really see. We if we come this politics, we really, really see. We won't talk about what go influence when I vote for president. Then it means like we don't go vote for this country side again. Who? 
I know we saw really power up this combo like 2016, 20, the time with the votes before we can't reach this whole era. Mm-hmm. But I guess something little we sometimes leave. Infrastructure be it be good, it be good, it be neat, it be okay and things. But me, I believe say fine. You do the infrastructure like the airport. You talk the airport be for every Ghanaian, but it's not for every Ghanaian. You understand? In the sense, it not be everybody they come, they, they fly out of this country. It's not every region with the access to this airport and everything. The hospital the top fine, they be, but it's not accessible to everyone in this country. So me basically, I always like. The votes um, uh, based on um, social policies, like say, so you bring policy where it will affect everybody for this country. So, uh, I will give you examples like the national health insurance. Fine, before left, it's still it's still there. Like you could give me policy where even if you left, it still will continue. It, it go it go um, it go affect the the least person of this country, at least we will be toxic. Almost everybody get national health insurance for this country. Everybody be entitled to that kind of health care. We even all all of the health care will be the best, but at least at least people be entitled to free health care in, in another sense be like that. You know? Maybe I'll go explain them. The free matern uh, maternal care to was something we uh, those those things were reasons why I was voting for NPP back then. Because I felt it, or at least their their policies they affect some they affect almost everybody. They, they, they sometimes they think about everyone. But if you use only infrastructure, infrastructure I know everybody they access them. You you from London they come Ghana we access them. But the man for Zabulugu where you know get passport, he never entered this airport before. You understand? Bro, oh, I disagree. Demand for when you get passports, you know, who come through for the airport. You know, who come through. Bro, bro, make I ask you two questions. I beg you not to catch you, right? Okay, okay. Um, see. We are constantly asking for investment. Let's imagine Zabzubu, okay? Zabzubu. Yeah. Um, some, some, some guy with a farm for Australia, we farm some business, get some multi million accounts. We won't come invest for here, go come, right? Yeah. Um, then did they look at these things on person of back? Now some small space stress near the open firm. Maybe uh, the person for the Sabzuku there no could directly fly. But these people coming in and people living from here get an opportunity to go um the terminal to three they, they sort of things out apart from even people coming in a kind of cargo where they come in and things. If they directly uh, they indirectly they affect these people. The person could come down, if money people affect that person, you go expand in farming business, employ other people. That's how indirectly you go. Unfortunately, you know, the flying, but the flying party, I want to talk to the aesthetics, just the looks and sense. But if you're looking at the economic benefits of having a good airport, eh, it will even reach the, the youngest person for Ghana here. The time COVID come, they, they bring vaccinations and things. You see, where did they take pass? You know, they go past uh, Jubilee, Jubilee, Jubilee Yard for Tel Abu. The airport you pass can. What I say? The space we can't get as they open inside. Uh, 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 we, we indirectly go affect everybody. Okay? I said it here, put that one aside. But for airports, it will affect everybody. I'm like, you mentioned healthcare, maternal healthcare, the medicine and things that they bring, if they're not really pass. Yeah, but, but I say, I'm, 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 yeah, but I'm not saying say in no need do. I don't say in the need, but they put it on the scale. You no, know, I will I would like say the person with the the somewhere where you know be close to the airport at least make it make me make, make we make health care make accessible to am like in terms of the this national health we at least people they benefit from them so comparing that with the airports you now like me i would like to choose although fine the airport they need like getting a nice airport in it, but me you know me personally dear like i would like say at least the least person for this country for for be for get access to something like everybody they get access to you, you understand me? So if if this the, fine, what you buy the talk be sensible? Yes, it makes sense. What about the talk? It be true, but uh, be to me it be kind of limited. Be like that. You understand them? It be kind of limited. But 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 I go to cool. I be the airport. It's not be just for flying. Some of your cousin will be go get job for there. You know, some of your 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 brother will get security job for there. You see, you, 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 you
facts like that. They give me some conditions. Like, you know, try to tell me, say, maybe my cousin will go feel get. Or, okay, what did my cousin no get? How it will affect somebody there? The, the person where, you know, they use them. Like, you know, they get access to them. How it will affect them? Like, how it go, it go, he go, he go benefit from arm like that. If, he, if my cousin no get access to him. But at least, national health, free maternal care, um, free education, all those things. So what if you to your family, hold on, what if you to your family, nobody preg? What if your family, nobody sick? If my family, nobody preg safe. Somebody, the village people, they, they preg past me with the hero. But they, 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 only, they, 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 so if they preg, the way they don't you care. Say, you say what? You say what? And I talk say, okay, fine. No be factual. What I talk, no be factual. But I talk say, but the village people, they preg, they preg, they my body. I don't you know, you know I just say, I just say, I just say, repeat that. No be say that. Just repeat oh, what's you, 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 you lose your firmness. As they do, you say what's not, you fold. As you do, you say what's not, you fold, Charlie. You won't divert. So, we will, bro. I wish you go a start to firm. You understand? But I, I know I, this one is statistics. I know I get the statistics. But the talk if you if you go look on plus just on a eye like social eye, they, 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 um, the village people, they break them about the past. You understand? Then, they don't do family planning like that, like the way we do the, the urban areas, they do like them. No? So if at least we don't go feel control them, they are bet, they are, they are rate at which they, they give birth, at least we will feel putting measures where at least go help them. You understand? So if if there's some policies they way it go, it go affect every Ghanaian. Yeah, I, I, go, I, I always go, go day, go day that party back. And also to, I, I would like votes based on the, your, the jobs, um, the, um, how the MPs, where they represent their parties, do they work on? Do they work? And the way that which they work, what they, they do? If they really they fulfill their their promises and whatever, whatever they will talk there, I will like because if if my MP they work, I don't say the job well. Where I don't vote, I I will be very impressed. Where I don't vote for him leader, how next time he will continue the job? Last time, so that one to be also a factor we are to consider if I won't vote. So if I say my MP the work, I say another MP did some side be the work based on everybody in constituency. But if my constituency my MP the work, but if you know the work, before promoting the leader all because he he leader know the know the try into he leader know the watch and make into do it you know the do. So we don't the cinema the 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 thing because that be the at least that, that also be another way of reaching to uh, reaching the masses or reaching people we know they close to the direct um, um, president or something. You understand? So, mm -hmm. um, in, in, in the MP, you know, at least even if they, if they try, if they do something, they build things, they do things, I won't make it continue. So, I will, I will make sure, I will keep in government in power. So, say you go feel continue. But if I come out in government, I will go continue. The job will come make some way. I hope you will me. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, I can only talk say, I don't talk say that if I show them, they don't need to do it, they need it ended well, at least if you come, Mama, they beautify, they beautify the capital, give you a test. I go reach hospital, the best and everything. But sometimes, to the policies, they, yeah, like say, if for Putin, if policies make, at least it will affect everybody. So, me, if everybody be interested, uh, everybody be included in um, um, the whole, um, I don't know if I will put them in the, um, the camp. Uh, in, campaign message or something, oh, I don't know, but the picture, if everybody will be included in the picture that we are trying to paint or, or the future we will try, we will try to uh, build for this country, I will vote for you, you understand? And this job is the, be like if we really, really go watch down, uh, the two parties or so they not do anything if we considering the job creation. So as for job creation, but me, I don't go even, even use our father, because even, even if fact that's it, you know they're hoping like that. How, how they not do the job creation, bro? Job crazy, you know they like you know they you know Charlie, this are they talk from the street from the street point of view, you know they like that. Both both governments Ah so what well, if you robots they work for the hospital, the 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 range hospital my tidy. Which hospital? The mama hospital if you if you robots where did they work for them? Which hospital see, Mama built uh, my the the uh, what should they call them? The university teaching hospital access. I'm one of them. Let's come ask them say uh, how the billion, how how the billion, how maybe some basa basa things we had before the things that we don't even a lot of people. No, that one yeah, be be a kufado. That one no mama. That one be a kufado. So, so this based on so, uh, 
to say the two of them oh, they don't job creation they don't really be about job creation like if you do they won't talk that and take build points but honestly they don't really they do up like, understand they know they, they, they know they do up they both get some similar similar um this thing be about they, 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 I bet you go if you know do aviation you know they mean say they know create jobs if you do aviation like go there terminal three right now you understand <laughs> 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 Like I didn't send that to you. Yeah, okay, fine. I don't do aviation. What uh, it don't be everybody they do aviation for this country. So the other people Yeah, so the people that do aviation, then they benefit of that. The people that do medicine, then they benefit of the hospital. Me, I, me I, they do I'm self employed. Me, I know they do I know they, I know they do government. Okay, so make us make us YouTube right. And then listen um, when you start work for yourself, um this 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 under this government or the previous one under this government under this government so can see yeah. as an entrepreneur like are you empowered enough to be able to employ more people to like upskill your business and 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 if you go renew your your certificates uh, the stretch you go through like uh, uh, it's a saying it's all saying all right, all right. Um, I will be honest. This this government really, really, they really prom like as as they come, they really, really pro promise we a lot and a whole lot. I really, really get hope in them. At least. But to be honest, honestly, they the way that they finish this whole thing, you know, try, you know, really, they really, really mess me up. We with the entrepreneurs in there, nobody they find out easy like that. Fine, if 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 that if, if that would be. Only fact that they are going to put them out based on that thing. The taxes, everything, they just tell it, and fuck what I say, and fuck. And they just they couple everything, and it's not be only me. Almost everybody we the entrepreneur where I know, they go to wrong. Um, you understand? That one to be another fact. Like, that one to be also factor for both. But you see, those things, even if we use something, that doesn't really say the next government will come, go fix something for we. They're not really, really, it's just like we go from lower. They go higher. It does. They go higher. It never the job come lower than. So if we go use that, uh, uh, that this thing as a factor. So how we go do it? Because it, it it doesn't reduce. It's not. It doesn't reduce. The taxes not they reduce. It just they jump, they jump, they jump, they jump, they jump. If like somebody they come, they reduce them. At least we go opt for that person. But as they jump, they jump, they jump. Then that means if we push that one aside, then try um, um, accept them like how we did. If I say I beg you. Go another factor again. Then gradually, 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 when they come accept, say, the, uh, nothing can be done about this whole country. I hope you understand me. Hmm. Yeah, so it's like at the top, you know, the taxes they inside. That one too. So at the time, me, me like this, I really vote for the MPP based on the map policies. You know. But as they come, you know, they start, they start to But as they, they finish, I'm I realize, you no, know, Charlie, this is what will be like. They go free talk the thing, they go free explain the thing, but executing the thing to be another problem. But at least I would like vote for them, for the idea, the way they get, say, okay, fine, we won't do this. Like a free education way you talk, for instance, it was a very good idea. It would be very perfect. At least it could help you. But now, executing the thing, at least they start them, um, 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 they start them well. Then later, it can make some way be answers. That's the right now for council and all answers. So, at least if, 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 if like, say, we, uh, we did 2016, we them can't talk that thing. Everybody could like votes for them because it'd be nice policy, it'd be nice idea. You know what they could talk, nobody could brush them aside. I understand everybody will like make you know you know you know really really spend a lot on school fees because that want to be another another burden for uh, Ghanaians that are top. So definitely everybody go buy them. So if your policies be enticing and things, but sometimes you will for watch your track record on your execution. You understand? But uh, at least some of the the, um, the uh, some governments at least if they talk. They feel as they could reach some points. That means they get some limits. If you reach some points, you know they far. That means they go feel we, uh, they, for them, they need help in um, completing everything. So sometimes I would like I would, I would like votes for a government based on what they really want to offer. You understand? And how if they start the thing, I would like. Yeah, that's all. I would add up some stuff for my feet.
I think the person will start to me, I kiss no finish, but at least you do something. You understand? So if I mean that be what I would like, that be that be what I would like to talk about. Right, bless up, I would you call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Big I, would like be, I would vote based on this this few factors we have just mentioned. Right. Big I don't want to be like we just go dream about them now. Like, <laughs> right. Bless up. Bless up, bro. Bright Doe, come in at the place. By do you be speaker now? Uh, good evening. Good evening, boss. How go? How far? Adeko. Nicely. For me, what are the CV? If you if you look at the previous election, mm -hmm. where you take the MPP the manifesto, then you read the number of promises they make. If you be smart, by the smart guy, by for no see, then they lie. They know what you do. Because most of those promises be things where you know be something you could feel achieve. And uh, this, I mean, I mean, and uh, I mean, in Ghana, in, the, mm -hmm. in that uh, short period of time, uh, we, I go feel take example, say, like maybe Nanado be somebody who lose the two previous elections. So, right, as you want to do all it takes to win, to come to power. So, yeah. even if desperation. Even if you could tell lies or give some kind to leeway, boys go, boys go. Believe boys and go. vote, yep. Yeah. So that be, that be the first point. Then secondly, I they still say, the people, they want your president, they're no fair. Because one, Ghana, one of our main problems be on our constitution. On our constitution, they give too much power for, uh, give them, they give too much power to the executive. So there are so many institutions that should be taking decisions on the, on their own and should not be interfered by the president or any other body. But because those institutions uh, those institutions are headed by uh, people who was chosen by the president, so in a way they hold an allegiance to the president. So they know if you think so president Tona Edo Otoa, Bibi Kostuna also can occur. Now we be in Ukraine, and we have president. Now we are there. We are there. So they look at different. Some institution like uh, uh, the MP of Coco Board like this, those institutions, the, those institutions or the president appointment. Then a whole lot of institutions, the president will for appoint. Where there are other issues for the constitution inside, where the, the president for for if the president gets the nation at heart, if for default. If we amend them, but the president himself knows he those things. If he amend them, he go worry him in case he, if you know the power way, something happen. South Africa like this, if uh, Jacob Zuma like this, if you take him go court or they go for impeachment, but God, I know they like that. Right. We know like, no president go fit come can change the constitution because when him say Oba Oba the dia Oba the di symboli now or di symboli no akwa constitution no an an kwe ti ana. Obey the, obey the apartment. So you know, go change the constitution. So those are some of the basic things we do for change before we go find a way out. Right. You know, but do we need to hear you? Good line. Your network really make bad. Yeah, we hear you now. Yeah. Yeah. So then now they talk about the constitution. Say, yeah. We hear, we hear all that part. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So then they talk. Then are they talk say, if if like the constitution no they give way say they will be punished.
Right. So, 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 right. Right. What they influence you, your vote, to select a presidential candidate? What, which cantons do they watch? Somebody where you can change constitution. If you that one, you they watch. Me, right, yes, no. I don't want somebody where you could preach towards that side. But no, nobody they preach towards that side. So, if nobody can talk about changing the constitution, you, you know they care. You don't go vote. Is that what you're saying? So right, you like you know have any this thing. No, Nothing. No, yeah, I don't know the picking side. Pick side. Yeah, no, we don't talk to pick side. We they tell you see which what which concerns they influence your your um your vote. Oh me some if some But you that see they talk if you some way like you want some make somebody can talk say when I come into power I'll change the constitution. Charlie, which level? Where they hear you? Anyway, bless up, Seb, right? Big on yourself. Um, Alright. Next. Ninoi, 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 Nino
Nino, you coming at the police. Nino, you speak speaker now. Yeah, he's quite a year, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So, me to just leave at two cents at the camp share. The, the moment I go see the president, he be fraud. The inaugural you know, speech plagiarism. No. As he go plagiarize the George Bush. Nino, Nino, you listen. Yeah. <laughs> What's the influence your vote? I will come on. Give me hope. I will see what you will do. Give me your first inauguration speech. You will tell me like I won't give you your inauguration speech. Be something so it tell some baby speech. You, another president go tell him people. Then what you will do? Give me again. if your first speech you will talk. Give me something somebody writes. We you know be you what you feel. Say you. Oh, hold on. So you jack you jack in speech. I, you forget the story. <laughs> But ask you, that be serious, though. Where ask you, they believe them like that? Serious, though. Oh, oh, no, listen. 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 The person, what? They are elect and finish. We, in speech, be that too. At the back. Make we state a fact, right? That's what you can say. But I think I get the guy's point. Um, that would maybe be the first thing he know they, he they look at. Like, how original you are. Are you saying what Yeah. Because, yeah, we, we know the guy as a shark. Or he be shark. You know, intelligent man. You know, then you come in power, you jack somebody in speech, they take, you know, anyway. Right, you, go, you go feed off my mic, then put my Jordan on. I think George has a lot to say, so. Right, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, make a list. No, you know, it's for the, you finish, yeah. Yeah. So, it means, uh, as a, like, no sense of honesty said. Like, if I would give you away what you become, tell me something George Bush tell Americans, then that'd be exactly the only thing I could probably change for that speech. Where Americans they change Google Ghanaians. That'd be the only thing. Wow, that'd be that be serious. That'd be serious. If if the space finish, if he said um Akufa um plagiarism or plagiarized George Bush speech, you go you go you go here after the pair pen. Make I go to the second point. Um what I would take vote out president or keep president, it'd be manifesto. Yeah. That what you tell me we are take believe you that I vote. Mm-hmm. So if I vote you out, so I would the same manifesto, meaning you've abided by what you said in the manifesto, then I'll keep you, or what you've not. Right. You out. So if 2016, I would give you way you, that they get to say people they talk, uh, say listen to what the president has to say before you vote to them. You way you did that you it will please your body say the first word out you said how many get sky train? We are over. You will tell me say, if you come, you will build sky train. 2016 that if you can we could build uh, one district one down one other one district uh, one district one factory one then then one down one million constituency 2020 come and not see anything so then if I will keep you you know I will, I will vote you out if these things I will see you build the one district one that you give my constituency the one million you do or you not do then I would vote you or I will keep you but me I don't know what my fellow brothers then take keep <laughs> I don't know what they think still vote for him, make it still there again. But yeah, and something on the free SHS we are going to take and make other people to come speak. Even as the detox say be good initiative and things. Yes, it is. But what Akufadu can't do, even if you overdo past the countries like America, UK, and things. Because UK, and things, and America, and things, them are free SHS. No, it be only day. You know, be like, see, um, the government will take burden on itself then. He could do like body, they go feed people. The people they, they do, they will go abide school for year up to um, secondary level. No? If they go to the school, then you go come back, come chop for your mommy house. How you go go to school, you know, be abide with sockets that if your parents they go, they go, they forgive you money. They, the only thing the government they give you free is, is the free access to, to gain the knowledge. that be all. But in Ghana, we did that, we did do. Boarding, then president they take the burden of feeding the people. We 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 too they borrow from these people, but these people know they do the free to that extent. So if Mama see, um, then I was I was hearing people saying um, Mama was against this da 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 da. da. But twenty sixteen, Mama launched uh, uh, how did they call them? Progressive um, free education for only day students. 
you see Google and these things are all mama now what's what's happening this day then your body they toss too much so even if you both have to be oh 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 mama and body they toss yeah, the 2016 time, then you bought the toss. No, no, I bought the toss. You say, yeah, I, I don't want to make you talk to anybody the toss. Okay, then. then okay. Use something else. What, whatever then, like. <laughs> like whatever. I might be guy, man, I don't know, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying be guy, man. Whatever then, we will do, we will go nice and again, because then they will be spoiler. Maybe I will say, so, by the time, we launched them 2016 before I left back. See, make, make them start progressive free education for their students. Meaning, Ghana money no good fit take up, no good fit take care of all the students in these streets at once. So, no good start them small, small. As um, Grant Tim can read, say, make the constitution, he did the constitution, as he make them do the free access progressive. So, that be what they do. But I'm not sure, say, Ghanaian self know they say, then he start this thing. So, whatever then the opposition they talk. No that what Ghanaian they listen, yeah. And then dooms are to vex people, innit? But I was too late. Then, this is also like a very big factor, like the topic you for introduced. Because then, I think I said, I know, I know something about light up. So then, light up do what? Anyway. But no, but that, that was different though. The light of, you know, it'll be the light of way that no mama they do know. I think, because then, if, 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 you take, if you take it to look back, because I, then me, I think, so things then, you did. 2008, 2009, because I really experienced that. Because I really, what I can't see is my own. But then, from there, 2008, 2009, then I grow small, so I see, see, ah, I, I get light up frequently. But then, as it progressed, come the 2016, then, then they call them low shed. Yeah, the light up with it, they get to 12 hours, bro. 12 hours. It'll be joke, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, if, so if, you know, be something that my mama can do at least, more good, more good. But for in time, it can't increase why. We still we manage to do something about it. But if it's if we did this before, we they can't vote. We MPB, you know, build the agenda one of the hundred and eleven hospitals, you know, build five po. What the, what else you could tell me? Like then you, you insult my intelligence with that. They don't have to meet you. Because if they tell me you could build one one one, we know build five. Even one one like at least five. Single one 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 from for different Regions, maybe you say at least you try to build five out of the hundred and eleven. Like you know, not even single one. No. Then you, you they tell me, sir, did you meet me? If you insult my intelligence, nothing, nothing else. Like nothing else again. Yeah, so that, that means you know, you have, you know have trust in them. Ah, Baba, see somebody you your if Baba see you if I go to class with it, I go to class with it. You come the first day they tell me. So you go, I go hear some speech for somebody in school where they tell me what did they tell me tell me that Jimmy Jimmy right. what did they tell me straight away when cool. like intellectual like insult or insult my intelligence is like it's worse than telling me that because bro that thing I hear as I find that thing out it really back home my brain you know you know but you know say the topic eh, you know really you know be you know really they come down to I want a current presidential candidates though. It'd be like it be general topic. What could influence your vote? What could what could influence and be um what I take vote you in? That'd be all. Okay, so so you said that already, manifesto vibes. So that'd be all. all right. What I, what I would it be so. what influence and be what I take vote you in. If you don't know, do one, you are sharing. If you do you're sharing quickly. You do more. It's like that. Because of my line, you know. Yeah, thank you, man. Right. Big dreams, bro. I bet we're going to stick to the topic. You understand what influence your vote for a presidential candidate? Big dreams, you speak now. Let's go. We they hear you loud and clear. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, so I, I hear much of the conversation where I won't pick up. Um, asking for the airport one. Mm-hmm. So the the main topic be influence of votes for presidential candidate. Mm-hmm. So usually that one eh, it be party loyalty. Usually. If you say party loyalty, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you say party loyalty, don't you think it's a very, very weak 
factor. No, no, I'm not saying from me. I'm saying usually. Ah, okay, so you they talk to like the masses. What you think they yeah, they yeah, got? Right, right, right. The, the party loyalty. Why are we, why are we, why are we, why are we but you see, um, um, big dreams, never the doors. So I beg you, more we'll focus on what you, you they look at, and then you know, make people fit get their talk. Cause I'm a fucker, yeah. What does it? Kill no so what? So, so usually that's what really happen. But then, if you watch that the system inside, presidential candidate be in turn out. So since he be in turn out, everybody there in the own. Like depending on what we really need for the party. What big dreams they watch? What big dreams they watch? I think I tell you say the conversation from the top no it, it change, you know be what it for be. So me, what are they watch them? You know even they the options inside if I talk right now. Because presidential candidates for Ghana, normally nobody they talk something to me. It be to the party people, it they go straight to the party people. Because you know, no more people for down, you know, be party member like that, you know, go vote. So hold on, you think that people that are manifesting, hold on. You think that the people that are manifesting, you know, they direct them to, the sh to their party members only, but I know yeah, to the... Straight to the party people, straight to the party people. If you like to watch, if you like to try watch Baumia or uh, 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 Ken, they my page right now. Because he say, them post things about what they do for the party. Ken Goofy post money where he share for the party since he come. So make them watch that one top vote for one. So the conversation for the top there, kaza kaza kaza. No, I be currently it be flag bearership where they they, 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 they they look for. So that one uh, party vibes. This be presidential candidate vibes. So when after you become a flag bearer, you for come that be where you can contest for the presidency. You understand? If you say presidential candidate, <laughs> presidential candidate, each party that is presidential candidate. Big dreams, big up yourself, bro. <laughs> Listen, this is my fucking stand to another fucking building. You ain't dear girl, bro. No say some niggas. If you don't get anything solid to say, Kaba. Stay in another place and listen. Or oh, she be here. You understand? Who niche you can and you by force, bro. It don't be flex say hey, man will give you Michael. The flex be say we can't talk sense. You understand? If you don't get sense, best no but way. Can I come in for a second, please? Spoiler, boss. Yeah, um, I think a lot has been said by the earlier speakers before Big Dreams came in and all of that. Mm. Um, to be honest with you, um, the question is what, what will influence my vote for a presidential candidate? Yes, sir. I think we are looking at accountability. Like, mm -hmm. A lot has happened in the past that people have gone scot free. Uh, people have been pardoned for, no, for even amass, amassing wealth. That's, that they haven't even worked for and things like that. So yeah. For me, like, I have my vote. December, I'll be in Ghana to vote. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I will vote for a candidate that promises accountability and pushing the country to its limits. Right. Um, I'm talking about healthcare. Mm -hmm. Because at the moment, our healthcare system is trash. Mm -hmm. A country as Ghana, with all its natural resources, should not, again, should not be aware we are where Pregnant women are giving birth on the floor. On the floor. Sad. Ambulances, ambulances, when you call ambulances, they will tell you they don't have fuel to get to even pick people. Embarrassing. All of that. That's ambulances very embarrassing. They used as political tools. Lowest of the low. District and everything. That shouldn't be the case. Mm. Our education structure has been crumpled. We, we moved from secondary school, that was three years to two and a half to four years, and now we have gold track, red track, and all of those tracks. Look. Ghana, Ghana's education system used to be one of the best in the sub-Saharan um, region. But True. today, it is the worst. Yeah. The middle-class family are finding ways and means to enroll their kids into private schools. This should tell you that, at the end of the day, the kids in the villages and the towns that they don't have access to private schools Bola. have to compete with, with the kids in the, in the private schools. So where is the country going? We have Backwards. mass, mass exodus of people that were supposed to stay in the country and help build the country. They are leaving. Mm -hmm. Listen, as of now in Ghana, we don't have over a thousand psychiatric nurses to assist with psychiatric people in Ghana. We do not. Mm -hmm. The current data about teenage pregnancy, about road, everything dates back to years. Everything, like, we don't have current data on anything in Ghana. Meanwhile, people are taking fast salaries every month. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So for me, accountability, let's 
hold our leaders accountable. Somebody mentioned about the constitution review, and I shared a link with Eskin. There's a 300 page document that Professor Mills constituted the, the, the Professor Fiado Commission to look into how best we can review the, 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 the 92 constitution, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That document, if we are supposed to go by it, ditto, ditto, the country will move forward. But guess what? Every government that comes in, they know for sure that if they implement the things in that review committee, it, it's going to put them in a, in, 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 in a bad place. So they will not do it. First of all, we need to limit the powers to the presidency. The president appoints the head of the, of, the, of the military, the police service, the um, wards, all the state institutions appointed by the president. How are we going to do that? I mean, all allegiance to him. So, it, it, it's more of every power goes to the president. And that shouldn't be the case. That shouldn't be the case at all. Right? My proposal, the youth make up over, I mean, Ghana is what, 31 million people. We, the youth, if you're talking about the youth, you're talking about 18 to, to 40. We make up the, the majority of the population in Ghana right now. Imagine if you're able to sponsor youth leaders. We target young people with leadership qualities to go and, you know, contest in key, key districts or ele um, key electoral areas, right? Mm -hmm. And get into parliament as young people. This is where the change is going to come from. The change will not come from reporting NBC and MVP. No, the change is going to, we have to be, we, we have to be intentional about getting young people into parliament. I know that we, trusted the life of Kojo Opongkuma and the rest, and they have failed us. We all campaigned for them to get into parliament, but and then they failed us. But we, st we, we still have a majority of young people who have the country at heart that we can push them into parliament. They, they change the discourse. See what's happening in South Africa. South Africa has a two major party system. It's the ANC and the DA. Guess what? There's a new party called the EFF. Omu Omu Ntija, they are street people. When they went into parliament, they think the discourse of parliament, right? We need something similar in Ghana where a vibrant movement. I know people don't like the whole face of the country, but that's the only option we have right now to rally on. Imagine we have over 20, 20 young people from the face of the country movement in parliament with the kind of energy we have. Do you think they're going to compromise them? No, I don't think they will do that. I don't think they will do that. I mean, a lot of promises have been made, but things are still the same. That's it. It is you and us children who are going to be paying for all the loans that have been taken. How, how are we in a country where over 35 toll booths that generate a million Ghana CD a day? You cancelled everything, right? You cancelled that to introduce e levy, and yet you are still not even meeting the target of e levy. So they are here. Multiply one million Ghana city a day from toll booths by 365 days. Somebody do the math. See how much we are making from the toll booth alone. There was a proposal to digitize the toll booth. The forecast showed that if we digitize the toll booth and people paid or even subscribed to use the toll booth at, in advance, we could be making five million Ghana cities from 35 toll booths in Ghana. Thought so, yes, here. Yeah. Up to now. No boots are not working. Kamamoto way is the terrible state. Yet we are we are we are we are we are going to break the eight. How are we breaking the eight? When pregnant women are still giving birth on the floor, when when food produce from the farms are not able to get into the city, how are we breaking the eight? How are we able to do that? Right. So, look, whatever whatever is going to influence for me is about accountability. Let's hold our leaders accountable. Any any person who comes to say, look. When I come, I will do X, Y, Z. I will make sure I will investigate all the all the claims and everything. Look, that person got my vote, but between the two parties, none of them is preaching or any of that. And we don't have any strong independent candidate to say, "Oh, I'm going to stand as independent. I'm going to go for independence." So please vote for me. None. Everybody is throwing the two party systems. So can I know you're not here by? It's about time we, 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 we rise. It's about time we speak up. It's about time we put our our ethnic lineage or whatever aside and just focus on the country. Look, Ghana, as of now, to be a president, you have to be 40 years old. Are you telling me that 
there are people below 40 who cannot run this country better than these old men we have running the country? Is that what you're saying? Nah, bro. Nah. We have smart, intelligent people who can run this country better. They shouldn't be 40 years before they even think of becoming president. No. They, they shouldn't. That, that law itself needs to be changed. That before you can become president, you need to be 40 years and above. You need to be changed. So, Mark Jacob, what you're saying is, is it Mark Jacob or Mark Jordan? Mark Jordan. Mark Jordan. What you're saying is, your you can only be influenced. Your voice can only be influenced if um, you're promised accountability. Look at development. Look at development. I'm looking at accountability. Because but accountability is your main thing. So if a leader for say if Mahama in manifesto be if I come into power, I'll arrest and jail every corrupt leader or every corrupt minister or whatever, you will vote for Mahama. If that is, if, if, if that in manifesto is like sure, I would I would I wouldn't mind. But if it is not, it is not. Because you know that that's what you de, you de prioritize. You say uh, uh, accountability. <laughs> Okay, it's party allegiance. Oh, I'm doing it because of the party. Mm -hmm. Nobody's doing it because of the country. Mm -hmm. This is not the country in Kuma and Co fought for. Look, when Wallace, when Wallace stayed at first school, he was what? Under 40 years. I think he was about 35 or 30, some 30, 34 or something. Mm -hmm. But in name, how many 30, 30 plus years would think of doing anything like that? No, My Jordan, will you also accept that? The average Ghanaian is corrupt. Oh yes, it's the system. So what guarantees? What guarantees? What, what guarantees that if a young, um, a young man is voted into power, he will, he will be solid and transparent to us, the people of the country. So um, that 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 question is very big because. Cause you, McJordan, you did yourself. You said Kululu. You, if I watch you, the way your face, there, you go like Kululu, ah, you understand? No, I'm not gonna like Kululu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna like Kululu. As King would tell you, but I see, I mean, hear me, my sister. We we have a few young leaders that are proving that, you know, given the chance, they'll be able to do better. And it, and it's not because of party alliance or anything like that. Look. A black guy is one. He's, he's got his own history and all of that. But he's proving that, look, given the chance, I'll be able to hold people accountable. He walked out of a parliamentary committee that was supposed to take an action that he didn't support. He walked out on all of them. I mean, it's, it's a very admirable thing. I would, I would definitely, if we had about 10 of our black guys in parliament and they all took those decisions, I think it would definitely help all of us. It's okay. You don't have to agree. You, you don't have to disagree. It's fine. Um... See, we have we have credible people in the system that, that, that can run this country better. Magjordan, I don't lie to you. Most of these young guys trying to get positions in the um, in these um political parties, I don't trust them. Somebody like Dumelo like this, I don't trust them. You know, all these most of the young niggas where they try to get into, I don't even trust them. You Why know? You see? Why, why don't you trust Dumelo? Ah bro, Dumelo, bro. Come on. I, mean, I, I don't know, like I mean Nah, he, I just really trust him, hello, bro. Fred Noama, Fred Noama. Ah, Charlie, 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 Charlie. Bro, nah. Fire. Why don't you trust him, hello? Bro, this nigga is in the same circle, bro. It be, it be, it be too personal. I can't even lay it out like that, you know. Bro, forget. Bro, forget, bro. Forget, forget. Which farming there? Which level, bro? Yeah, but uh, seriously, like, nah, the young, the young niggas way that they try to get the political power right now, I don't trust any of them, you know. So what do you think? So what do you think will make will make young people be accountable when we vote for the for them? Should we get them to answer or to go for? Oh no, but yeah, maybe <laughs> we don't. It don't be answer and whatever. But you know, when they, they when they, they hold on when when they come power, maybe after every. We, after the first year, they for do some proper, oh nah, they for do some accountability, some accounting for go on. You know, make we check what they happen, the money come in and the money go out. But 
Yeah. It goes back to the same point he was trying to make that accountability will be the language he speaks. Um, if any candidate, uh, you know, waves the flag of accountability mm. in their manifesto, he sided with them because you see, you just you just uh, made a statement about not, um, you know, these guys being in the same circle. You might you might have personal reasons why you think someone like John Melo will not be a fit candidate. Mm -hmm. uh, people will sit on different angles and also see different things. I live here in Ghana. I, I've met him, I personally know him, but on the on the work and business side, the, the jobs this guy is creating for, even farmers in the various regions he's visiting, he's bringing their produce here. I have seen things I believe, but then the, the, the politics and power, they, they change people, right? Of now, course! We, how, do we, how do we make sure we keep people on track? If, if it's the policy, or if it's the flag I'm waving that clearly states that uh, if, if somebody who sits uh, land beside back, we stop saying he comes out and we just raise one million dollar. Uh, if they go against all the things I they stand for, so I could do what I could call him. Look, we sit there, maybe run the person, maybe make uh, Yoko run. Uh, uh, your friend is saying, uh, 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 your friend, make them do like forensic uh, 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 search on, on every place in money they come from. If the person falls short, all the rules were applied to him if you be dealt him, you know those things. Yeah. Things but I see there be somebody with government car he try to go spray him and since you know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, but, but you see, you see, you see, it brings us back to the point. Personally, uh, I think I didn't add that, but it's something I would really buy into. It's it's an idea I would buy into because accountability is the only thing that will tell who is right, who is fit, and who is not. Because we can sit here and say maybe John has an acting background. John in the past did this. John sprayed a car, did this, that, that, that. But then the only way we will feed do be if we give John the position, because maybe right now the best way they do get plenty flaws where we, we will like him. Okay, if we're kicking him, who's the next option? Because maybe John personally might not be appealing to you. You would rather give the opportunity to somebody who just rise up. Maybe he might not have a track record at all. The person comes in at the end of the day, accountability is still for play because once the person comes and then you know say four years time the person will go and the person is messing up and there's no way we will feel account for whatever is going on whether whether they do anything wrong it's just going to be a statement issued by the president saying oh, this person has been relieved of their duties and there's not going to be any you know punitive measures nothing will happen we still come back to square one exactly exactly because <laughs> A young a young guy with Kampa, he more for inside self open power the old man. He not say he have more time on earth than an old man. Old man them they not say no go check go Jimmy. Young man he when they still go still boom where go last time for like forty years, fifty years and since, you know? And even think about kiddies and grandkiddies and sons. Old man, you know, you just go watch maybe next generation. If you be that if you be too greedy, you go watch next generation level, you know. And it will be that. But these young niggas we Charlie, them are open and sons. Now I'm off inside open differently, you know. I could father with the shell like that. With the see when we read that with the say, and yeah, I know really open, but Charlie, see the way the my mouth inside open. See the money where they chop. You know? What options do we have right now? What options do we have right now? Charlie. With all the policy that have been laid down for That accountability, no, you know, and that one when when we find out say chop money, you no, know, firing squad levels, and not trouble too. You know? You know if it will be jail times if we'll be if it will be firing squad level. You know? Firing squad, if I tie you front level, make your back face the gun. Maybe shoot shoot your buttocks or and tie your pelvic girdles inside. Uh, I think I think you might you, you might leave the space and come back or something like that. Where is it? I'm not sure. Granting, granting, Mr. Granting. Oh, Mr. Granting, uh, Mr. Granting, I'll meet your body here. I feel like you don't hear you. Mr. Granting, I'll meet your body here. I don't know if I'll we'll come back. But yeah. Big man, me one there, the young people there, I don't trust crap. Hey, uh, I will we, 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 consider the accountability vibes, you know, every year, every every year, maybe every first December, seriousness, you know, that one, we don't want to make people play the post day, the parliament day, 
maybe like from five people, including the president and the um, um, the um, um, speaker of parliament, then some some killers, you know, some soldiers for their place there. Tension for day or top. Make you see, see. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. we know they play. No, say, 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 they take everybody individually. When you come there, you can't talk what you do. In the, the room, not for be playing, they make they, those they are shouting, yeah, yeah, and those Johnsons for no, I will say a quiet room. You understand? If you come there, you can't do your things, what you spent, what you got, what you did. All of these things, right? If the constituency enable all of these things, bro, that shit for looks serious and scary. You understand?
indeed, I killed this person. In fact, I killed him on this particular day, this particular venue. What I have said there in Parliament cannot be viewed against me in court. It is very amazing, and it is said by the law, this same law that is trying to fight crimes, is still the same law protecting the culprits that has verbally, you know, admitted to the certain, a certain crime that he has been charged with. You know, so the law in itself has been made in a certain way that even though it's been implemented, it is also... It finds a way to save certain people and also punish certain people, right? And I believe if we are looking at how the nation will move forward, it starts from a, a, a constitutional review, and I, I, I agree with that totally. But overthrowing the whole constitution is more like a coup d'etat. And again, on the accountability, I think unless you are tried and tested, we can't really hold you accountable. So it will then fall back on your ways. And I would like you to also differentiate or let us know why you feel younger people will do better than the older ones. I don't think you've done enough justice to that. Because explain to me, and you said Ablaka, right? Ablaka obviously has negative PR as well about him. I can bring up the parliamentary scandal where he made up an issue about them receiving bribes when they were betting and um, Boache Jack went all that. And you see all those all those situations tainted his political career, you know. But in as much as you are here telling us that somebody like a black one is a good candidate for, I mean, a, a country's leadership role, right? I, I mean, explain to me why you think a black one is better than Osafoma in terms of age. I, explain why you think the younger people will do better. Because I also think that if we are living in a country where ma majority of the people are corrupt, and in fact, what we are seeing now is what is making us believe that politics is even a good source of revenue or is even a good way of making money quicker. Everybody might want to jump into it, and they will do the same thing. Mm -hmm. If we are finding one million dollars in somebody's house, don't you think it's cash out for the person? So, as a young guy who is unemployed, sanitation, is, sanitation, no common sanitation, bro. Right, you know, and then this, then this person was able to take a budget of forty-three million dollars to Parliament just for um, the sultan of the Ordona. forty-three million dollars, and it was approved by the same leaders that we are talking about. Mm. <laughs> That's it goes round and round and round. The, the point is that what makes you think, what is making you think that the younger people will do better than the older people? I believe in the younger people thing, but what makes, because the people that we trusted, people like Opon Kroma and all that, fine, they are still vocal, but um, to some extent, they are, they are silent now. You know, they are not vocal. They are not vocal. I said they, they used to be vocal. I said they oh, used to be vocal, okay. right? Okay. They used to be vocal, but right now they are silent. And it is because sometimes defending the current government is very, very difficult. And I've always said that politics is nicer when you are in opposition. You see, you to criticize, right? So can you really make us understand why you see the younger people will do better than the older people? And maybe we can continue from there. Mark Jordan. Yeah, so... um. So my point about the younger people um, doing better, like I, st I stated, um, how do you call it, the case of the EFF um, in, 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 in the South African Parliament, where they, are, they, change, they change the discourse of, um, of, of the country's um, of political state. Mm. I, I mentioned about the Fix the Country movement, where if we're able to get maybe 20 people, because look, look at our, our parliament today, it is split between, it's, is it even even? Um, between it's half half, but imagine it's if you're able to half parliament, but it's yes, one thirty seven, one thirty six. Imagine if you're able to get twenty independent people from different sectors, young people into parliament, with the idea that no, let's focus on getting the country on its right track. This is my idea that getting young people in parliament will work, because at the end of the day, it's still, it's still the same NDC MPP that we are talking about. But the moment you bring a different group of people in the mix, now passing bills and things will be hanged. Because similar to the EFF, before the DA and the ANC make come to any consensus, the EFF will say, no, they're working out. And in parliament, you, 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 you need a one third before any bill is passed. So if you have a parliament of 275 MPs and 20 of them are saying, no, they are not going to stand for this bill to be passed. That, that is... That, that's a productive way of changing the discourse of the nation. I mean, I brought in Abbasa because, yes, Abbasa has a lot of friends around him. But in the last few years, we have seen what he's been trying to do. I'm not trying to, like, force a black on anyone. No, I mentioned him because of what I've seen him do in the last couple of years. Almost of all MPs or every politician have had bad press. Mention one who, who, who you think 
doesn't have bad press. There's not a single one. But I am lobbying for a younger person who will understand the need of the youth. A lot of these old people don't care about us. But in Ghana right now, with a population of 31 million people, the youth make majority in the country. But nothing has been done about us. What was the Ministry of Sports and Youth doing about the, the young people? What policies are they implementing for young people, even children, even girls? Nothing. There's no focus on that. It is amassing wealth throughout. I don't know if, if a young person come, they'll be able to do well than the older people, but it is just a hope. And like I said, like Ronnie said, Charlie, let's go to Antoine. Let's go to the Lopo. Say by the <laughs> Hmm. So by the book where they Charlie, if you come into power, you do what you, you are going to preach. That's the only way. As, as I say that, Charlie, the, the constitution protects them. They, they come into power, you cannot impeach them, you can't do anything. The president will come and commit anything he will commit. You can't take him on. After five years, maybe his party is back in power, and, and the cycle goes on and on. They, we can't do anything. So the only option we have is to amend the constitution. There's a 300 page document that spells out what we need to do as a country to move forward. None of them want to do it because they know the moment they implement any of these policies, they are going to find themselves in shithole. Sally, I yield. Right. Seven, come another, please. Thank you very much, um, Sir Mark Jacob. No Mark Jordan. You guys have your morning. Nicely. Sally, Hmm. Number one would be a national agenda. Like, I'll go by the 60 40 rule, where 60% for BE in policies, where he thinks he will change Ghana, then the 40 for the national agenda. Like, you know, where, like, priority in the country, where the country is supposed to go. Hmm. Like, the way you talk, the, the, the roads, the infrastructure, and all this. Mm -hmm. I will pull all of them under national agenda. You know, right. policies, national agenda, 60 40. You know, 60 in policies, 40 where the country is supposed to go. Number two, education. How is it trying to rebound our current curriculum of education that we have? You know, with the science, the technology, the tech, the agreed and everything. What are his policies on this one? Number three, taking agriculture as a whole. Because as of now, it looks like most of stuff that we use in the Ghanaian market, we they import some of them, like Kontumri, like Onion. Recently, the Niger Warrior say Onion, they go in shortage or something. And I don't see a reason why Ghana needs to import Onion from. From DJ. Ah, we didn't import Kuntumri. But we didn't import from Kuntumri. Abidjan, Kuntumri, they come from Abidjan. Oh, wow. Oh, even cassava. Ah, even cassava. Yeah, man. But tomato is coming from Burkina Faso. Onion is from Niger. No, but I'll put Cassava in Ghana. Cassava in Ghana is from China. Ah, hold on, oh. Ah, no, but you see. Me and day you kill, bro. <laughs> but me, so hold on, <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> ah, so long time the fufu with the pan fufu and the cassava. No, 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 don't get it. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Listen. No, all, all these things that you mentioned. Yeah. No, all these things that you mentioned. They grew them for Ghana here, right? Ghana, yeah. But you see, at this, yes. The consumption, uh, bro, the, the amount of food we eat every day, no, they match that. That'd be why if a government is sleeping on agriculture, it is pain. Yeah. So other countries not coming. Okay, so hold on. So, asking you try to say the demand for cassava be high past what we have for Ghana. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then two, the ones we grow for here, eh, um, the farms, no, they get the incentives to even keep them. So plenty they grow by the spot because they don't get, uh, what's the name? Preservation materials and things like uh, structures to, to keep them so when we say the market women plenty they go quite so no be materials they go by you know be they go by uh me me at this quite soon eh at this they go north and things my grandmother maybe my grandmother at some point they go Burkina they go bring in Punam you understand because they if you preserve that thing nice nice you understand how bad challenges be bad for you
power, it didn't work. And subsidies for, for agriculture, it make it make agriculture nice and attractive for younger people to get into it. And I kind of commend what Tomelo is trying to do. Um, number four, uh, small scale businesses and accessible loans. We know if you talk to big government creates jobs most of the time because you need to empower some of these uh, some of these small businesses so that they could be in a position to employ people. But how are you going to do that if you don't overburden them with tax, but they don't have, have access to loans? And if they have access to loans, maybe the interest rate is too high. Be, like you know, if you look at the return rate, it doesn't even make sense. Number six, I'll talk about corruption. Corruption, you know, like what, what, how are you going to address corruption? Because as it looks like Ghana right now. For you to do everything, you need a connection man to do it. Yep. As it, as it looks like, you need a connection man, like a middleman to do it, even though the systems are already in place. Everything. Passports, birth certificate, yeah, everything. 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 Even Ghana card. Ghana card. Ghana card, whatever. For real. Hi, I'm going to address some of these things. No, my, my, my biggest one is Russia, but I think the guys have already talked about it with the articles to back it up, so I'm not even going to waste my time on it. International relations. What is the current government saying about the upcoming of BRICS? And, you know, where they stand with BRICS? You know, is this something that they feel like it needs to be, like, you know, giving their thought or they're going rubbish it? Number seven, data money. You know, what's, what's the goal for, for retaining the data? What's the goal for money to go down the drain a lot? Because we know the future. Yeah, so I think this is I think it's very precise and concise. Uh, that's that's all I wanted to say. Like, and I will just drop off to make other people know also speak that much. Right, big on yourself, Sir Ben. Sorry, thank you. Bless up. And fire, one more thing, right? Yeah. One more thing. The last week, you know, after you drop where the the, the the space continuing today, you know, so two white boys come into the place. Yeah. I hear that thing. Yeah, he was he was he was really nasty. So um, if you 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 don't have a co-host. Where everybody could feel coming, probably you could just rock this. I, 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 I leave calls too. I leave for uh, Joe or somebody like that. Where he be like, if oh, them. Probably they dropped, they dropped off, so everybody was able to become a speaker and Charlie was really nasty. Yeah, so, so I hear. Every time I, 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 I tell them, say, Charlie, if it's somebody platform with you, so. So I hear. I hear say more demonic, more racial things. Charlie was, was really ugly, man. Let me see. But, man, big up yourself for giving us the platform to also voice. Bless up. Bless up, Seven. Bless up, Seven. All right. Young Kennedy, you're Japan. Hey, Charlie, I don't see your name early. If I see your name early, <laughs> hey, Charlie. Hey. Anyway, spot it. Spot it. Spot it. Relax. First off, I, I want to say, I like him. Japan, no me say that you're doing campaign team or some shit like that. You're about. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, you mo you all talk a lot, Charlie. That that the manifesto and things so there, bro. He pay, pay, but Charlie, we all for be honest, bro. We know our people. Um, the person said he the standard things that he, he don't really care about. What, he just one can't get up with. He don't really they mean anything like that. He just he be some document here then for to be like some process be there for go through and things. You don't really they mean like mean anything. But I me mean, personally, what I feel say. I will watch for now. Like previously, then it will usually be about party. Yeah, this party that they like, this party, yeah. But as of now, where the thing catch? And they feel like people, like for a person we come get some kind of power we no really do anything. That person for no day their picture inside. You can't get time, you can't you know do anything like you, you, we all know what the kind of things that they talk, the people are talking about anyway. And it's good to like more of these presidential candidates, them be, um, them be like statesmen, like them, they not really get them my hands dirty. Then, them like, okay, make a mention like, um, Mahama, Baumia, and things like the front runners right now. Them be people with. Then, and they feel like if right now Ghana was really need the person way maybe get track record, he built something, manage something personally, he be successful personally, like something where he go come back to you go feel like uh, maybe at the talk uh, like at the for Kennedy. Kennedy Kennedy. And one I owe you bro. And one I owe you Charlie. I'm not saying that's how you go feel, but like make a finish. 
that be how you go feel. But my point is a for someone where from where you from, you the bab. More of these people where they can't leave me to eat and things. They're not really not top like they don't know from the ground. They just be challenged like my, my what be what be name uh, Kufado family. So you want to say they, they, that about that about that about be some way that they chop present for Ghana? Yeah, you the bab. So I feel like it's time for a change. Like someone will get on track record. See, we all they talk. Yeah, Kennedy be brash. They they behave some way and then see. It all be true. It all be true. Everybody in behave that. But me, I feel like the positives be outweigh the negatives. See, for US like this, Trump they come. You if we do it with the watch right now. You, you go feel, um, talk to Trump, then Kennedy be like similar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, if Trump can't be top, in four years he can't be top, we all see how the US economy do. Mm -hmm. Before Trump, they can't chop presidents. We all know in background where they can't chop the presidents. Mm -hmm. You don't understand? Mm -hmm. So, I feel like right now, where we catch, then the kind of person they he, he need, you know, be this people mama mama he be he be chat man like he be he be um he be uh, oh then he be communications something like he the force for them things he not really but me out there me i know even one good outside self me i feel like running maybe somewhere just on track Bro. record or on the field Bro, what a, i have a question guy yeah i beg you so you you mentioned two things in your delivery you mentioned um, you need someone who has a track record. I think you've you you sounded that a couple of times. I want you to break it down too. Um, you also said you'd want someone who has gotten their hands dirty, um, literally. I mean, building something that has yeah. you know survived. And then you 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 related that to what Honorable Kennedy has done. You know. Yeah. Uh, I want you to answer that for me. Those two questions, and also look at the the, the sphere within inside right now. The the flag bearers across the various parties, like the people who want to become president. Um, which of them do you really know and which of them hasn't really gotten their hands dirty? When you say get their hands dirty, is it through the party ranks or as 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 an established individual in the society, someone who has achieved something? What do you mean? Break that down. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking like, about some somebody who's successful on on a, on a, on an like on a personal side, like something. Because right now our main issue is economic issue. You understand? The main issue right now, like everybody's complaining about the economy. Okay, so so if you say that um, from from the time Ghana began practicing a democratic you know system where multi party system come inside where people live, by, um, if you really know and have the track record of you know the parties that have come and the flag bearers that have come, who in your opinion? Hasn't been before you mention it, I don't call. My views. Why you didn't say stop? Yeah, I didn't say stop. What's that? Okay, okay. Now, one final out is you get idea for the co mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. idea idea on the cost of um the sneakers. They can start to prepare the money ready. Yeah. Uh, I go I go calculate and make you know. Alright, bro. Alright, All right, bro. All right, all right. The six K still no hit though. Alright, right. I, I lose track of some things. I make, I make this small. I make a follow up. Alright, cool. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, alright, alright. My future. Alright, bro. Bless you. No, relax. Relax on the two things you mentioned. Let me finish. Okay. Since I was born, I've seen Rollins. I've seen um Kufo. I've seen Atamels, I've seen Mahama, I've seen um, Kufad. With all these people, with all these people, maybe I don't know, but I don't, I can't compare them to who I feel with what's available now to so Ghana, that's uh, Canada, Japan. I don't feel like they, they, they have anything to topple Canada, Japan because most of them relax. Most of them Ah, they rise to the political ranks. That's what they do, most of them. And like, um, some come to cool, some are um, like education people. They, they are not really like those kind of things. 
they don't really yeah fun for my like yeah stand your man and yeah quality fair like yeah yeah fair the new maqua yeah put ya. Do you know that? Do you know the track record of Professor John Levanta Tamils? In, in in nation like in the in the development of Ghana, like do you do you know or you just because honestly because if if we're gonna leave it at the front the, the, the front of you being a staunch Kennedy Japan supporter, we can leave it there. But if you're making such a statement as to they need to be people who have gone in their hands, then no, 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 okay, 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 hold on. So, so break that down. I think you have to break those two things down for me to really understand. Yeah. Now let me let me take it because I I kind of forget your point sometimes, but. Yes, no, you mentioned right now. Is that? No, Mr. Riff, you can ask me, I'll, I'll repeat. Yeah. Okay, okay. So let me just mention, like, right now, the one I can remember right now. You're asking, asking me about um, Atamels and stuff. Um, Atamels, okay, you educate me right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, relax, relax. Bro, relax. Google is, Google, Google. No, 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 but relax. <laughs> relax, let me finish. Okay, okay. relax. Me personally, what I know, the little I know about him is that. Or he book me back. Okay. That's the what you know. That's the perception I have about the way he booked me back. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to him, me 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 perfect can he back. Me me book me back. Do you wanna do something? Do you wanna do a chat? That's that's my opinion when it comes to that. So um, can you remind me of about the other question? So I. This is my fucking stand on the fucking building. Medanta, stand up. Start, start. 